good morning. So, I'm actually on my way over to Disney Springs. It's about 9.30 in the morning, and I decided to head over to Disney Springs because we have two resort days built in, but we were leaving Epcot last night, and we kind of felt like we wanted to go back. So I'm gonna go see how much it is to upgrade our four-day ticket to a five-day ticket. If you do not know, you can upgrade your park tickets as long as you have at least a whole day remaining. So you can't go upgrade it on your last day, say like we were going, you know, we're going to Magic Kingdom on Thursday. We couldn't upgrade it Thursday once we had started to use that last ticket. But we have two days remaining, Hollywood Wednesday, Magic Thursday, and we feel like if the price is right, we'd like to spend the afternoon in Epcot on Friday. So I'm gonna go see how much it is. I did, did some research online. I think it would be around 50 bucks a person, um, approximately. So if that's the case, I think it's worth it. We did this the last time we were here, decided to add a day just because we wanted to. So that's what I'm doing this morning. Right now I'm crossing over the bridge. You can probably hear the traffic below me, but that's the awesome thing about being this close to Disney Springs. If you weren't this close to Disney Springs, you'd have to try to do it at your hotel, which can be finicky, especially if you did not book directly through Disney. Um, it can be a pain to upgrade your tickets at your hotel, but I have access to the Disney Springs location here. I'm also timing just how long it takes me to walk over. So I'm gonna tell you about that in a little bit. See it a little bit. Okay, so that was a success for $51 per person. I was able to add a fifth day to our tickets, and I thought that was definitely reasonable. So on Friday, we will be getting back to Epcot at least for the afternoon. We have a morning reservation for Ohana, so we're gonna still do that and sleep in a little bit so that we're rejuvenated, recharged, and so that that way we can hopefully stay till Harmonious, which we didn't do last night. So we're excited about that now. Time to go get ready for Steakhouse 71. One more thing I forgot to mention, it took exactly eight and a half minutes for me to get from my room to entering Disney Springs. Of course, if you wanna get more to the center of Disney Springs, that took me up to more about 10 minutes to get near like World of Disney and whatnot like that, but like to cross over the threshold through security into Disney Springs, eight and a half minutes, which is nothing so super fast um i'm i am a fast walker so if you walk a little bit slower maybe 10 minutes to get into disney springs but exactly 0.3 miles um which is what the hotel says i checked that with my apple watch as well so that is that is it i'm also going to be doing a video hopefully at some point just showing you exactly how to get to disney springs from the hotel because it you know your first time it can be a bit tricky so i will hopefully be doing that reporting that this afternoon as well so keep an eye out for that coming up in the channel as well. And now it's time to go get ready for Steakhouse 71. Okay, we're heading over to Disney Springs now to check out a couple of the happy hours that are offered at the restaurants there. We're gonna do a little bit of a happy hour crawl. So we'll let you know what each one offers and what we think about it when we're done. So let's head over there. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay.
Okay. So after our happy hour crawl last night, we completely forgot to do a recap. So we're going to tell you all about that and how that went yesterday. So we went first to House of Blues, which is kind of all the way on the other side of uh, Disney Springs. But they do happy hour from open till five o'clock. So that's why we hit that one first because it was ending earlier than the others. And they did do $6 margaritas or $6 Long Islands. We both got a margarita. I did forget to film them, so I'm sorry about that. But it just looked like a standard margarita. What did you think of your margarita for $6? Oh, it tastes good. Tastes like any standard margarita that you could get. Yeah, it you know, wasn't nothing anything. Fancy. Nothing fancy. I also got the Long Island and that was better. I will say, I feel like you got a larger portion and it just tasted better. So if you were gonna pick between the two, I would go with Home Long Island, but both were fine, especially considering they were $6. Like a $6 cocktail on Disney property, pretty hard to beat, you know, either way. Then we made our way over to SDK for their happy hour, which runs from 3.30 to 6.30. And that was awesome. I think we both really, really enjoyed that. The food was excellent. I got uh, the hummus and veggies, which was really good. Like you basically got a whole salad you got a lot of the hummus, olive tapenade, some uh, uh, little pieces of toast, which you ate, and it was all really good, really fresh. And then the the, the hydratats as well were also really good. Came with a really nice uh, dipping sauce. Both of those were three dollars. Hard to beat that. And then we both did a couple of cocktails. Um, I did first the cucumber cocktail. I'll I'll put in the me uh, the name the exact name of what it is from the menu in here but that was really good for nine dollars and then i also did a mojito really good mojito above average you know really high quality signature cocktails for nine dollars it's hard to be on disney property and then you had a watermelon water one yes it was the watermelon with jalapeno and mm -hmm. it had jalapeno around the edge and that was really really good that one was probably my favorite and then i did the strawberry cobbler which is graham cracker crust around mm -hmm. the edge um what it is instead of being like really liquid it does have like crushed strawberry in it and i don't i mean he thought it tasted like strawberry tasted i didn't good. think it tasted that <laughs> strawberry like um but i definitely prefer i liked the watermelon the one, yeah. one a little bit more yes. um and the texture was a little funky for the strawberry one not really what i'm used to but so. overall highly recommended and then our last stop i did stop also at paradiso 37. their happy hour is only to go but it does run all the way till eight o'clock and you can get seven dollar margaritas or seven dollar domestic beers i got just a simple margarita it was good i think it was slightly better than the house of blues margarita and slightly larger um but it, of course it is only to go but it was a good it was a good margarita for seven dollars you can't beat that on disney property especially at those prices but overall i would highly recommend that you know i saw a lot of people lining up for the different the beverage beer, the, the beer beverage heart. parts that yeah. they have around disney springs for a 17 dollar margarita there you can save $10 just by knowing that Paradiso does the happy hour, or even more if you go over to House of Blues a little bit earlier. Because Paradiso oh. does run to And then Raglan Road did have a happy hour yes. that we didn't do, yes. but they the, brought that back. They used they had stopped for a while after COVID doing, that, uh, doing the happy hour at Raglan Road, but they were back, and that was $5 drafts. So I don't think they had any cocktails on there, but $5 beers. Again, can't beat that on Disney property. So definitely keep in mind that Happy hours are a thing at Disney Springs, not on, not in the parks, but at Disney Springs, they're an option. Okay, bye.